Good evening to you, and uh, let's do a video on a little model of the economy. This is what's called the circular flow model, and so uh, obviously it's going to be in a circle. Circular flow model, and, and so this is another model, so uh, don't go Rodney Dangerfield on me. But this is a sort of a way of thinking through the abstract nature of, of our economy. Uh, flow really meaning uh, you know it could be a barter thing but usually we think about money and then circle is going to be in a circle so there's going to be some vocabulary that goes with this so on one side we usually do what, what it's called uh, households and so uh, households is an economist term for cons some sort of consumer unit so in my household very small it's my wife myself and a little baby she doesn't buy anything because she doesn't really know. She probably eat the money or whatever. So, in your household, it might be just you, might be you know, a huge family, extended family, whatever. We don't really care. It's just some sort of household unit, right? Well, I guess we do care. Economists study that, but it's not that, uh, for this analysis, it's not that big a deal. All right. And the other side is going to be what we call the firm. Okay. And a, and a firm. Is an economist term for uh, any sort of business, right? So Walmart is a firm, Walgreens is a firm, all the companies that made the products inside the firm, uh, or the, the firm sells rather, uh, are all going to be firms, right? So let's see if I can change the color. Let's see if I can do some kind of red here. So the, the part, no, no, I guess I can't. Uh, the, let's see, where do we do that? No. Oh well, I'll try it again some other time. Oh, now I've got no color. Okay. There we go. Okay. So the part of the uh, the economy we're very we're very familiar with is what's called the product market. Okay, and the product market is we give our money to various firms, and they give us goods. So a good is any sort of tangible item, uh, and or I guess uh, services, right? So a service is going to be any sort of item that uh, you can't touch, so like a haircut, a massage, a tan, tanning bed, whatever. These are things you're not walking out of the store with. Okay. Um, so the, this is this is pretty easy. Uh, we're all over this. So goods and services up in here in the product market. Now, how do we make those products? Well, in households supply what's called land. Which is any natural resources, okay? So anything non-man-made and it comes from, literally from land, but it could be like copper or water or um, I guess sunlight. That'd be kind of a weird example, but any any sort of non-man-made stuff, uh, labor, right? So literally your time doing some kind of job, like I'm doing here, uh, or capital goods and capital goods are any sort of product that um, can be used to make anything else. So machinery, tools, equipment, my computer that I'm talking to you with, all that stuff. And in exchange for all this, uh, we get, and, it, and it's really money. By the way, this is called the factor market. Okay, these, these are called the factors of production. Yeah. Okay. So these are the, the ways that we produce all of this stuff. Okay. Let me see if I can get rid of that. Ooh, it worked. Okay. So um, for land, the, the word for that, for the money that you get in, uh, in exchange for land, usually rents. Okay. That's the economics term for that. Uh, labor, you're probably familiar with this term. This is wages. And when households uh, give up their money uh, for some kind of capital good, these are going to be dividends. Okay, and really quick. Okay, um, sometimes students get get a little confused. And uh, so capital is is used in two ways. In finance, it's used as like money to start up a business. Well, if you think about it, what does the capitalist or the entrepreneur do with the money to start up the business. They buy 
capital goods, right? They buy trucks, they buy equipment, they buy computers, they buy desks, they rent office space, blah, blah, blah. Um, and, and then they share their profits with the households that, that loaned it to them, okay? So it's other, uh, it could be another firm, could be just a consumer, something like that. This is what's supposed to happen in the stock market now. In, in um, you know, in 2017, that doesn't really work anymore, right? Um, I should have just said the latter part of the 2000s so I could reuse this video, but anyhow, um, it doesn't really work because, you know, you, you buy stock in Apple and they might just sit on the money. But what's supposed to happen is Apple's supposed to use that to reinvest back into uh, capital, okay? Now, here's the deal. Here's the sort of magic of the whole thing, and I'm a little sad that I can't... Uh, Ooh, I can. Okay, good. So, if households buy more goods and services, okay, then what's going to happen is the firm is going to have more, do this. Ooh, more money. Okay, and firms, you know, they get all this money, but you know, money is it's neat and all, and it's got dead presidents on it and stuff, but you can't really do anything with it. You can't really expand your business unless you get more factors of production, more land, labor, and capital. So they're going to use that money to either, uh, you know, expand their business, make more stuff, uh, hire more employees, or invest in some kind of capital goods. And if they do that, then households are going to get more rent, more wages, and more dividends. What does what do these households do with all of this stuff? They are going to, I don't know how to get that to sort of, ooh, ink flow. Let's see that. No, that didn't work. Okay, well, if households get a hold of more money, then they buy more goods and services. More goods and services mean more money for firms. More firms can employ more factors of production. More factors of production mean more goods and services, so on and so forth. So this is the circular flow model, okay? What's neat about it, you think back to Adam Smith's uh, invisible hand idea. The government's not really involved. The government can tax things, right? But uh, if they tax, this is going to be a reduction in goods and services that are produced. They can tax land, they can tax labor, I'm sure they take money out of your check, and they can tax dividends, right? So they can, uh, the government can get involved here uh, too, and uh, that this reduces the circular flow. So that's the circular flow model of, uh, of an economy.